Good morning from Barcelona Sant Station. Today I'm traveling to Paris, but first I need to pass through security. Once through security, there is a waiting area. Here you will find a small cafe, but try and grab something before you enter if you can. There is a seating area above each platform, as well as a little relaxing space to chill in. As a first class passenger, traveling international, access to the Renfe Style Club Lounge is included. Here you will find all the creature comforts, power, Wi-Fi, free snacks and coffee. It's also worth noting that there's a security point on this side of the station with no line, so it's just straight in and onto the train. Today I'm riding on board the Inawi TGV. TGV Inawi is a brand name of premium TGV train services, operated by SNCF. As mentioned before, I'm taking first class. We depart bang on time, making our way out of the city through northern Catalonia to our first stop, Girona. Next stop we continue through Figueres before crossing the border into France to the southernmost French city, Perpignan. Where even though the official language is French, Catalan is still spoken by many. Here we waited for almost 40 minutes for what we were told was a police check. I assumed for proof of vaccination. However, no one entered our car and eventually we were back on our way. First class is in a 1-2 configuration, featuring plush seating with a fold-down armrest and powered recline. There's a little bin and power outlet next to the seat. A footstool. A large pull-out tray. a light above. Second class is more basic and in a 2-2 configuration. The scenery between Perpignan and Narbonne was the most scenic on the journey. As the train passed numerous lakes, the flocks of flamingos stand one-legged in the shallows.
After Narbonne, we cross the river Orb, getting a great view of Bezier's 13th century cathedral as we pull into Bezier's station. The toilets can be found on both the top and lower deck. I found these to be quite clean and modern. There's a little sitting area between the cars so you can make calls without disturbing others. And there's space for your luggage at the end and in the middle of the carriage. There's a bar cafe on board with space to eat and enjoy the view outside. This serves snacks and hot food. You can also order drinks and snacks from your seat. Our journey today takes us around the northwestern corner of the Mediterranean coast before heading towards Lyon and then into Paris. My first class ticket cost me £43.95 on an advanced fare. The journey took 6 hours and 45 minutes, with these trains managing a top speed of 300 km per hour. We made our way through Montpellier and Nîmes. Between Nîmes and Valence, the train crosses a broad stretch of the River Rhône, with a view of the wine-producing Château de Montfoncon. We had all four seasons on this journey, we even had a dusting of snow at one point. The weather cleared and we continued north through the French countryside and into Paris Gare de Lyon station, just as the sun started to set. I love this journey. The seats were super comfortable, the train was smooth and quiet, and the scenery was amazing. It did not feel like a seven hour journey at all. In a wee translates to extraordinary, and it was. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe, it means a lot. Thanks for watching.